Hey everybody, my name is Natalie Duncan Edmonds. I wanted to thank you for listening to this episode of The Morning Show. I'm the creator, the producer, and the host of the show. We want you to check out our website. It's themorningshowwithnatalie.com. You can go to that website. You can see all about our sponsors, all about the show. You can even listen to live episodes while they're going on right there from the, the website. Another way to listen to the show live is go to Live365. You can download that app and just search for The Morning Show. It's right there. Super easy. We want you to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel, if you will. That way you can keep up with what's going on on The Morning Show. Thank you. I hope you enjoy it. My name is Natalie Duncan Emmons. You are listening to The Morning Show, and I told you we had a special guest on today. We've been anticipating this all week. He's been on The Morning Show before, and we just couldn't wait to get him back. It's our friend Reggie Spires. Good morning, Reggie. Good morning, Natalie. What an honor it is again to be with you on The Morning Show. I'm so excited. Well, you know, I told you what last time. I said, we're going to have you back. I guarantee you we will, and we kept our word yes. today. We did. Yes, thank you so much. You were my first interview with Talking Won't Get It Done, and you're the first one that I'm doing um, concerning the release of the record. So I'm excited about that. Well, we just want to keep that rolling. Every time you have something big, we <laughs> want to be the first ones to put it out there. Absolutely. Sure. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Well, we did have you on a few months ago. You had the, the first single, uh, Talking Won't Get It Done. We played that on our show. I know that's that's done well for you. That's gotten a lot of attention. But now we've got something else coming out this week. I want you to tell me about this new album. I want to just tell you right off the bat, I've not heard the album. I've only heard, okay. well, I've heard of course, I've heard Talking Won't Get It Done. But I've only right. heard one other song from this album. It's not out as of today. So you're going to have to tell us about it. We want to know all about this new album and we want to know when exactly it's coming out so we can get it because we can't wait to download a copy and listen to it. Tell us, Reggie. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited about it, Natalie. It comes out tomorrow. We've had a few different delays, um, you know, the iTunes thing and, and how you have to get all that connected. We thought we'd have it out at the end of September, and but but tomorrow, the 7th, is, is when it actually... Um, is when it, sorry about that, is when it actually <laughs> drops. And, um, and so I, I'm pumped, you know, it, it's been a, um, it's been a process as all records are, you want to, you want to get the right songs and you want to, um, um, of course I want everything to be perfect. And I was so, so great to have Clint producing it for me because I could trust him. And so many times I could just turn it over uh, and uh, things didn't really sound good to me. And he'd reassure me, no, you get to that place in a project where you're just like, ah, it all yeah. sounds yeah. terrible. Yeah. And, um, but, yeah. but he said, you know, it's sounding good. Uh, we've got seven songs on there and um, you've heard uh, talking, won't get it done. Like you said, it's something we released early on. And then uh, also being released to radio along with the album this week is the new single prodigal. The prodigal, um, is a really, really, uh, I, I think it's going to be a tremendous song because um, I brought the idea to Clint and had some of it, uh, a lot of it written, and then um, he jumped on board with it. And we wrote this song with a perspective that it certainly is as spiritual as you want it to be because it is that message, but it also uh, references uh, people who are estranged in relationships with parents to children and, and can be really anything like that. And um, I, we have a lot of high hopes for this single. I really think it's going to do well. And um, I was really pleased when we got the final mix done and everything. Uh, I was really excited about about that song. It um, It's simple, but it uh, it's very, very power powerful. Um, just simply says, no matter where you go, uh, you'll never be too far uh, to not be able to come home. And certainly we know that with the Lord. I mean, it's just, it just doesn't matter. He's, he is the most wonderful father. I love the story of the prodigal when mm -hmm. I, I've preached on it many times. And, and, uh, my favorite part of that story is, is, uh, when it says that he saw him afar off, which means I believe every day the father went to the front porch and I call it a front porch because I live in the country. Yeah. And, uh, he went to the front porch and looked down the lane for his son. And that's the best picture of the father, I think, and in the entire word of God, as far as uh, who he is and how much he loves us, that um, he would look every day. Um, and that's also the love of a parent. And uh, so we're, we're excited about, about the prodigal. It's going to be good. It hurt to hear you say you've had enough and just can't stay. So I gave you everything I could I knew I had to just 
just let go There's things you learn out on your own But I prayed every day that you would know Wherever you go It won't be too far I'll always be here With these open arms I want you to know Come home. I knew there'd come a time you would stop and realize where the road would lead you were on. Through the guilt and all the shame, you remembered the promise that I made and held on. Reggie, that's mighty good. That one is going to be the new single. It's called Prodigal. We love that. What else you got on the album? We've got a couple of old tunes on there. Um, we've got a what I call a throwdown, hoedown version of um, of uh, Just a Little Talk with Jesus. Mm-hmm. Um, the funny thing about that cut, Clint had cut that for Southbound, and um, it was just kind of laying around. And I said, "Where are you? Where are you going to do it, man? That, that arrangement's just so so killer." And he said. He said, man, he said, we did too much in it and we get live and, and we can't remember where we're at in the song. And I said, well, I'll take it. And um, so we recorded that one, um, another old Baptist song that um, uh, I, I love. It was something I really went to bat for. It's called Glorious Day. Oh, uh, yeah. But it's again, it's kind of a Garth Brooks version of a, a lot of fiddle. And and um, I, I just, you know, I really, I really, really like that old tune. Donnie McClurkin did a a black gospel version that I loved. And so we kind of took that version into the studio and I told my, the guys at tune design, I said, Hey, y'all country this up and see what we can do. And that turned out really well. Then we've got a tune uh, that I'm really um, passionate about called the cowboy way. The cowboy way is a, is a tribute song um, to uh, anybody and everybody who has served. And at the end of the story, it is a tribute to the cowboy way, which basically is just, uh, you know, God, family, country. Um, that's the, that's the cowboy creed. Um, and I, I just, we wrote something that would be, um, that would honor, uh, everybody who serves from military to first responders, uh, in a cowboy package. And at the end, it just simply says, and we'll honor the cowboy way. Uh, then there's one called the cowboy life. We've got cowboy way and cowboy life. Clint wrote this tune. It's kind of funny to me because he's not a cowboy. Um, but, no, he's um, not a cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he called me one day and he said, uh, um, I'm so blessed to have him as a friend. He called me. He said, hey, hey, uh, I think you're going to like this. I said, I always like everything you write. And um, 
what he a lot of times what he'll do to me is go, hey, listen to this. And when he gets through singing, I go, hey, is that for me? He says, no, it's for Southbound. I said, <laughs> well, don't, play, don't play me anything else unless it's for me. And uh, so it was we do that. It's funny as all get out. But anyway, he said, and you listen to this. And he just started, and it was really unlike Clint, because Clint generally puts it on his piano, and he has a pretty good groove down. He he sang it to me a cappella, and I was like, okay, well, I can't really get a feel for mm-hmm. it. I didn't really even mm-hmm. like it um, in, when I first heard it, because I couldn't get a feel for it. And we were we were getting pressed, and we went in the studio, and so I just sat with, actually, with my brother, Ron, um, who is my music director at the church, and who has been in music and was in Southern Gospel with Wendy Johnson and the Messengers years ago. And uh, but anyway, I sat with Ron and I said, help me, let's beat this out. And we got to go into the studio tomorrow. And um, and so it came out and Clint told me later, he said, well, that was nothing like what I was thinking it would be. He said, but it was fine. And it's called <laughs> Cowboy Life. And it's just a fun um, tune about life, because so much of what I like to communicate in my concerts um, is about life and about yeah. uh, enjoying life and taking you back to a childhood or a good memory. Um, so we've got. We've got Just a Little Talk, we've got Glorious Day, we've got Talking Won't Get It Done, we've got Prodigal, we've got Cowboy Way, we've got Cowboy Life, and then we've got one that, again, um, I, I love every song on the project, but we've got one called Country Preacher. There is a, um, I was going into a Western Sizzlin' one night here in town with some of the uh, community uh, people that I call family uh, that live real close to me, and one of which lives right around the corner, he pastor, in fact, I'm going to be with him uh, in just a couple of days on a Sunday night here. Um, and, um, he's been pastor in a little Baptist church. He's worked all of his life. He's a carpenter and, um, and he walks real crooked and, and, I, and, and he had an, an accident on a horse and, um, he's a, he's a cowboy and, and, um, just a great guy. Donnie Mullis is his name. And, mm. and, uh, it's one of those times as a songwriter, I, I, he was walking in front of me and suddenly, I mean, that just flooded out of me. And the first, the first few lyrics of this song is, uh, his walks, it's its a tribute to every country preacher, but it's loosely based on him. And it simply says his walks a little crooked. There's a horse to blame, but his words are straight on Sunday, full of love, never shame. Uh, be a hammer in his hand on Monday, little church, little town. He called himself an old country preacher saved by grace. How sweet the sound. And I mean, wow. I sat down in a corner wow. in Western Susan. and everybody was looking at me because we was like, we was like at a birthday party and, and they call me Preacher Reggie. And Preacher Reggie says, what is he doing? And I'm over there scribbling out lyrics because if you know, as a songwriter, when it starts coming, yeah. you have to, yeah. you have to get it down. Yeah. And um, it's the only one on the record I wrote all by myself. Um, Clint was a, was a co-writer on all the other ones, but it's a, it's just a, you know, how many people have been touched by, man, a, a rural, a rural preacher's life. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it, it would be in the, it'd be in the, in the millions and millions. Oh, and so, yeah. <clears throat> so I, I think it's a, you know, Natalie, the, 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 one of the most difficult things is country gospel has, has, um, has yet to be uh, really, really defined well as a genre. It's very difficult because it's kind of is, it's kind of a wide lane. Mm-hmm. And for me, country gospel, I get asked this a lot. Country gospel is a country song that has gospel influence and that has positive influence, but its base really is country. Mm-hmm. And I've taken a little bit of a little bit of flack for that because it's not Christian first. And I pastor a church, but my people are fine with it because I told them this is something I love to do. And um, and this music <clears throat> I stand by because I believe it will reach beyond the barriers of church walls uh, and will touch people's lives and. Uh, the little bit of, of that I we, we haven't booked a whole lot because we've been waiting on the album to drop. And so the few things that I've got to do, and I do a lot with Southbound and, and Front for them and was with them this past Sunday night in Jacksonville, my birthplace. And um, it, it's just amazing to watch people, watch it resonate with people. Um, in this particular phase of my life, I don't take people to church in my, I mean, we wind up at church. But, you know, southbound Clint, he's church from from the you drop the you drop the flag and and um, and it's and it's wonderful. It's incredible. And I think that's why it's fun when I get to go be with them, because what I do is something different. I want to take you on a journey. I want to wind up at the cross, but I want to take you on a journey. I want to take you back to your uh, back to your home, back to a a memory, a a dream that you've had. I'm 57, just turned 57 years old, releasing uh, songs on the radio for the first time in my life because it's a dream, uh, not too old to do that. So, so my my approach is is a little different, but I think that it is one that is unique 
um, to to me. I don't try to copy anybody else. And uh, and we have we laugh a lot. We cry some uh, in my in my concerts. And 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 most of all, we wind up at the feet of Jesus because you always wind up there anyway. But I'm really excited. I, I think it's got something for everybody, uh, and I can't wait for you to hear the whole project. Reggie, we can't wait. And tomorrow's the day. We don't have to wait much tomorrow's longer. We, I've been waiting for months uh, on this project. <laughs> really? I have well, been I'm waiting gonna, I'm going to get long, on Clint. You, you were supposed to have the whole record. I don't know why you don't have the whole record. He, he sent me a song. my favorite radio station. But you know what? I yeah. do have Southbound's new record. So it seems like there's a little partiality going yeah, on here because he hasn't. Exactly me. right. <laughs> so you get on Clint about that because I've heard Southbound. I, but he never I said but, but I have heard Prodigal and we do love this song. I'm glad that you have released this one as a single. I think it's a great choice. Although I haven't heard any of the rest of them, so I don't have anything much. No, to I, he think we we agree it's probably the best song on the record. It really is. Found out, talking won't get it done. We gotta love one another, do what is right. Show up in the darkness, we gotta be the light. Let's help out our brother, life's hard on everyone. From what I've learned, it's actions, not words. Talking won't get it done. won't get it done somebody's gotta be willing to do what he said to do if there's gonna be a healing it starts with a me and you we gotta love one another and do what is right show up in the darkness we've gotta be the light let's help Talking won't get it done. What I've learned is action's not a word. Talking won't get it done. Talking won't get it done is a good song. It fell in the cracks a little bit. Again, country gospel is very difficult. And I'm I'm so thankful for people like you. And let me just brag on you a minute because you know, you know, I I don't have a dedicated lane. Um, it's and and Clint too. Bless his heart. I'm so grateful that he that he that he picked me up and put me on his label, knowing that, hey, it's not like Southern Gospel, and, and I love Southern Gospel, but it's not like them. They have such a defined lane, and um, and country gospel is not that way. So I am so grateful to you, Natalie, and to The Morning Show, uh, forever in your debt, to help artists like me, and there's others out there that have this passion for this music, uh, trying to get it out there, and we would not have a voice if it wasn't for folks like you, and I'm so grateful. Well, Reggie, I think we talked about it the last time you were on the show, but the purpose of our show, one of our goals is is to find the a perfect mix. We love Southern mm-hmm. Gospel. We love that. I was raised on that. Uh, it's, it's what my heart is, but uh, there's a lot more out there than just Southern Gospel. We love uh, country gospel. We love a little contemporary. We love some bluegrass. Yeah. We love all of that. Yeah. So we're looking for yeah. a perfect blend kind of kind of represents the body of christ it's just a great blend of a lot of different absolutely things. people all mixed together and so i think you just absolutely. fit in great uh, what you do fits in great with what we do here on the morning show so i think we all uh, get along really well 
Well, I appreciate that. Well, it's like I said, I, I love stopping by your show and I can't wait to come out there and, and um, get to experience. What's that steakhouse called? Oh, what well, Lee's Steakhouse. Lee's, Lee's Steakhouse. steakhouse. Uh, Reggie, yeah. you know, I don't know if you saw it on Facebook, but Lee's flooded. We had some major flooding here oh, in no. central Mississippi back up, I, I don't know, about six weeks ago, I guess. Oh, yeah, goodness. and Lee's has had that. some massive damage over oh, wow. there so wow 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 we'll, we'll keep struggling. them in our prayers but anyway sure. i think they're i think they're fixing to rebuild and just uh get to mm -hmm. a new location and build so look maybe we can take you to the new state house when you come what absolutely <laughs> i look forward to it all for right sure. tomorrow is the day we want everybody tomorrow is the we, day we're gonna remind them tomorrow as well but tomorrow we want you to go out and download reggie spire's new album hey reggie can you tell us the name of the project talking won't get it done is the name of the project Oh, and perfect, um, you'll perfect. be able to find it. Yep. We used okay. we, we went ahead and went with that as the, the title cut and the title of the record. And um, uh, and simple. I'm going to make sure before it drops, you're going to get the whole record. I promise you <laughs> well, by tonight. So it well, drops I've tomorrow. I'm going to. If, it have, if I have to, if I have to drive to Orlando, I, you're going to get it before it drops. I promise. Well, I appreciate that, Reggie. But if not, I will be one of the first to download it. That's for Thank sure. You first, so much. first thing when Thank it you. when it hits. All right, friend. We'll have you back soon. And best of luck on this new project. We Thank can't you. wait to hear it. All right. Thanks, Reggie. See you soon. Thank you, Natalie. See you All soon. Right. Yes. Bye.